Good afternoon. We're so glad that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will come on back tomorrow for another video. So, Peter and I will probably be staying home tonight. Work continues to just be chaotic for him, so he probably has to do some work. Also, he's having a little chili cook-off at work, and we're gonna make that chili tonight. But now, I had already planned to make chili for us for dinner, so I'm going to do that. I'm gonna show you both recipes. The recipe I'm doing now, I'm just making up. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go, but it's more of like a green chili, like white beans, pinto beans. I don't know, we're just gonna go with the flow. So I'll show it to you as I go. I'm going to chop up onions right now so that they can saute with olive oil, garlic, salt, and pepper to start off. So it was just a swirl of olive oil, like a tablespoon of garlic, and then two small onions. And I'm gonna let this cook until the onions are like see-through. I'm actually gonna use potatoes in this recipe, just two small ones that I am going to peel right now and then add that in. going to cook that for a while um, I decided to add in green peppers and a zucchini just because I kind of felt like it needed a little bit more like meat to it and so that's like how it's acting it's like acting like the meat right now so it's browning it's getting nice and cooked um, I added the chili starter I haven't tried this package yet and then I also added some vegetable stock I don't want to over um, spice things up now because well obviously there's a ton of spices in that packet but also you can always put in but you can't take out and i don't want it to be too overwhelming so i always start slow and add as i go especially with chili um so i'm gonna let that cook probably like i'm gonna check on it every five ten minutes um but i just want the potatoes and the zucchini to act more like a chili i don't want it to be a soup and I don't want it to be a stew either. So I'm trying to just get that consistency right. Um, but I'll set a timer and then I can let you know how long I let it cook. And after, it took 35 minutes and then I did some smashing with like a potato um, masher. And so that is the base. Okay, so I just stirred in three cans of beans. I did two great northern white beans, two cans of those, and then a can of pinto beans. I also added in some water. The veggies really cooked down a little bit more than I expected, so I added water to it so that as the beans continue to thicken up and the veggies continue to cook, that it'll cook off with the water and not just that. So it has a little bit more substance to it. Um, I also have some tomato juice I might add a little later. I really want this chili to not be as tomato based as other chilies or like my main chili that I make. Um, I am going to add in this can of crushed tomatoes just for like the tomato -y taste but not like chunks of tomatoes after this starts to boil. So I'm going to wait until this gets bubbly, add in the tomatoes, add in, probably like taste it and see if I should add in some garlic, some chili powder and some oregano. And then I'm gonna put it on simmer and then just like let it cook until dinner time basically. It's four o'clock now. Um, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna have to add any more liquid or maybe a can of diced tomatoes. Maybe this doesn't isn't as big of a batch of chili as I'm used to. Um, but we'll see how it goes and how much cooks down. So this is extra bubbly, so I added in the crushed tomatoes, chili powder, and oregano. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that cook now. It needed some heat, so I added some crushed red pepper and some of my hot sauce that I talked about in yesterday's vlog from Trader Joe's. Um, so I added those just for a little bit more flavor. 
and then set it to simmer and then i'll just like stir it occasionally i definitely got more red than i wanted to when i added in those um crushed tomatoes but that's all right maybe in the future i'll like get a different type of tomato or something else to to keep it that green but it's actually really yummy um i do think that i'll like continue to taste it as i go and i'll let you know if i add anything if anything it'll probably just be garlic um because i'm a garlic kind of person so yeah i'm just gonna keep on working probably cook that until like 6 30 ish um so yeah and then we'll make another chili when peter gets home i'm home i'm home home wins the honey pot did sarah did sarah break the news to you guys Yes. Then we're not going out. And then I'm making another batch of chili. It's You broke the news about that too? Yeah. I had to go to Whole Foods to pick up a couple last minute things, and so I picked up this. Ayo. Because we've been Jones in for this. Do you want to try it, Maya? Yes. I'm so excited, Disney. I told Sarah, because I have so much, like, we both have so much work to do. Yeah. They're literally like, I'm going to get in comfies, take probably like 20, 30 minutes probably, and then start to work. Oh, I don't know. Have we ever had these? I've never and had they like one. Ice thing. cream bites? These ones are, but not typically. Mooch. I, maybe that's why it's not pronounced the same thing, but normal mooch doesn't have it. It's like, yeah. How is it? Delicious? I gotta get it. Yeah, in I think, I think like the room temperature ones, there are room temperature yeah. ones, but these ones are ice creamy, but there are room temperature ones. I like, I want to try the room temperature ones. Tokyo Disney. I got a bunch of work to do. <laughs> and I'm way behind on a I'm bomb. Like, I'm, I'm on the eighth dinner in my room, in my office. This is how the chili turned out. It looks just like my normal chili. I really tried to make it a green chili, Peter, but I used crushed tomatoes. It looks great. It smells great. It does. It tastes different for sure, but I gotta, if you have any suggestions on green chili recipes, let me know. What would you say? Three hours later? Three hours later. Okay, I'm getting. The chili going. Peter's opening up all the cans. We still got three more hours of work to do. Yeah, but it's only nine thirty. Yeah, and here is my chili for work tomorrow. That's cooling. It is, as you can see, eleven twenty-five. I think our night is coming to a close. Sarah stopped working. She's not feeling too good. She's resting, watching It's a Wonderful Life. I actually have an automation going that I can't do anything on my work computer until the automation's done. But I think I'm gonna shut it all down after that automation. But it could the automation could take about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, depending. Yeah. Um, if how many issues, if it runs into any bugs, but I'll, I can't do anything with my computer until it's done. I'll put the well. I'll probably just type out the recipe to this chili in the description below if you're interested in it. It's instead of meat, it's got riced cauliflower. Yes, and it's very good. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't tell Sarah yet, but I brought those 60 candy canes to work. And I have two external monitors that like I dock my laptop and put in. I lined the tops of them, plus fill this cup with it around it. Um, the lined candy canes on top of the monitors lasted all of like two hours because I couldn't see the top of my screen. But everybody was loving the candy canes. Did they take some? Yeah. Alrighty, our daily message. If you were born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. Coco Chanel. All right. Thank you for being so understanding, everybody, about today's vlog. Um, you got to do what you got to do. And this project I've been working on at work is kind of coming to a head and needs to get done. I th technically, the due date is Friday, but it's already due, and it's not really finally due until we go to Chicago. Like, I, I need to have it done by the time we go to Chicago, so... I don't have to worry about it and I can give it to somebody on my team to make it work. Eve is making herself comfortable. And tricks on Sarah and myself because we're both very tired because we've been working literally since like 8 a.m. Yeah. My issue is, is that I basically took off of work for three weeks when I was like on bed rest. I wasn't totally off of work, but like I was not working at the caliber that I typically work. And so now, like, my due date coming up, like, I basically need to make up for all that lost time. But you're doing a great job. Yeah. And Sarah doesn't realize it, but I'm going to wake us up in three hours so we can start watching Disney Plus because it goes live in three well, hours. What are we going to watch? All of it. Um, We're not going to sleep And the again. good part about me working versus you working is 
I work hourly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And you do not. Yeah, so. But that works out the conversely when I don't necessarily have to work or when it's not project time and it's not super busy and yeah. I still get paid the amount I get paid. Yeah. Give it, give and take. Yeah. But hopefully I may, <sighs> we may have to do this once or twice more this week. Mm -hmm. I won't say twice, but maybe once more this week. I don't know. I have to see how, how my day goes. Today I was full of meetings, which is why today kind of happened, because everything I wanted to get done during the day got pushed away. Yeah. But that's the life of working in a corporate office. So. Yes. Let's go to bed. Let's watch mm -hmm. Disney Plus. I just want to watch Noel. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>